one. Good morning, my friends and followers and subscribers, many subscribers. Thank you for continuing to support my channel. If you watch this video right now, you've not yet subscribed. Why not? It's free. And it's Monday morning. Yes, um, thanks for the lovely emails last night I received after my live chat, which has now been seen by nearly 5,000 people. So I'm really, really impressed. So thank you very much. I am taking my dog Zeus this morning. That's a lie. I'm taking my dog Zeus this afternoon. His appointment's at 3.30. So that's when we have to take him to see the vet. So we'll see what happens between now and then. Uh, he's with the ex-wife at the minute. So I've got to go and let myself in and collect my dog later. So we'll get him later and make sure he's okay. But uh, yeah, what a awesome night last night. I enjoyed it. You see what happens when you drink Coke? Yes, you have a chilled out night. See when you start drinking alcohol and you do a live, it just goes downhill, downhill, downhill. And there's no recovery. There's no recovery because once you've said it, there's no getting it back. Well, people, um, the news this morning is awash with many, many things. One thing I'm going to point out, and it's close to my heart because it's close to my heart and it's close, is a hotel in Ipswich called the Novotel. Yeah, the Novotel Hotel, which closed their doors for over a year to the public. They cancelled all receptions, reunions, weddings. They cancelled everything. And they treated the locals in Ipswich like shit because they took the government silver, didn't they? We'll take the silver, we'll... And it was, it was known. It was a hotel filled with asylum seekers. Well, by the end of November, all asylum seekers will be out of the hotel. And the owners of the hotel expect everyone to run back to them. I say no. I say it's about time we boycotted that hotel and those owners need to learn you cannot treat the locals like shit just because you've taken government money over everyone else. I hope the hotel goes bust. That's my opinion. You can comment below. That's just my opinion. And I hope word spreads. Stay away from the hotel. For a while, or if you, if you walked up to the hotel, there was security came straight out what are you doing here, sir? What are you doing here? Oh, no, 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 you can't come any further. Yeah, they didn't want you to know, but we all knew what they were up to. Yes. And why would I want to sleep in a hotel where scum has spent their last months doing everything? The hotel's been wrecked twice, by the way. But there we go. Right. Now, a lot of you sent me messages, which I'm going to discuss in a minute. But the one thing that I am happy about is Michelle Moan. Remember Baroness Michelle Moan? Yes, the lingerie woman. We all found out that she took hundreds of millions of pounds of taxpayers' money for PPE. And then she denied it all. She denied everything. Well, she's let it slip. Because she's stupid. She's let it slip. I knew The arrogance of these people, they can't keep it contained. They have to tell someone. I was involved in that. Well, she said it to the wrong person because now they have it on record. Yes, someone recorded it. Yes, she has admitted that she has links to the company that took 200 million pound in taxpayers' money. So now her husband is going to face trial in Spain and he could face quite a long time in jail. Pay it back, Michelle. Pay back the money that you stole. That's all we ask for. Everyone's scraping and scraping these days because the government give away too much money to scumbags like you. Well, there we go, eh? And more people will slip up. More people, more of these multi-millionaires will slip up and, and their arrogance will say it at a cocktail party or something. Yes, well, do you like the car? <laughs> Taxpayers bought me that, yeah. They always, they always have to say it. Right. I'm going to be honest, I did watch Remembrance Day on TV. I thought it was great. I thought it was awesome. And the one thing that I did enjoy is the elegance. Queen Camilla standing there. She looked serene, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. That's a word I never thought I'd use with Camilla. Wasn't as beautiful as the Princess of Wales, Catherine, though, was she? Standing there. I mean, they both look fantastic. Elegance. You know what? I hope Markle was watching from America, and she would have been. She would have been watching it seething, seething, blood running down her eyelids, seething, blood running from her teeth. Uh, look at those two women, yeah. yeah. That's what you call elegance, that's duty, that's service. That's respect, honour. Yeah, it's not grifting though, is it? Mm, well, and what else? I've also seen this morning in the media, Metropolitan Police Officers taking time out, taking time out during the demonstrations to have selfies, to have selfies with Palestinian protesters with flags, 
the police having selfies. That's a very biased police force, isn't it? Yes, certainly is. That's why they're in shit state. And I'm going to put my foot in it now and I'm going to say, I'm going to put a, some of you will probably not like this, but I don't care. Opinions are like arseholes. We've all got one. I stand with Suella Braverman when she says it was hate this and hate that. Yes, I have to watch what I say on social media because they'll close you down. But you know what? She's got balls to stand up. Suella Braverman, Braverman, yet yeah, because she's braver than a man at the minute. She's saying exactly, and people are saying, oh, she's, she's inciting hatred. She's not, she's not. She's actually got the balls to say that every single person that I know wants to say. And you know what? The men in Parliament are like, oh, senior Tories mu must call for her to quit. No, she should never quit. She should stay there. She's got the balls to back it up. The Metropolitan Police are shit and she's calling them out. And it's about time. So well done to Suella Braverman. Labour are all over it. Oh, she must quit. She must quit. Yes, because she's she's calling out the people that vote for Labour. That's what she is. May not like it. There you go. Now, here's one that made me laugh this morning when I found out. Greta Thunberg has given a speech at a climate demonstration in Amsterdam with thousands of people attended. There she is on stage giving, a, giving her little speech. Yes, a guy who turned up to listen to her just walked on the stage and took her microphone off her and went, I turned up to listen to a climate. I didn't turn up to listen to a political speech. This has nothing to do with climate change. Why are you talking shit to the audience? Well done, that man. If anyone knows who that man is, let me know. I'll get him on the podcast, have a chat with him. Well done to him. It's about time someone called out her bullshit. And who's funding her anyway? She hasn't had a job since she left school. Quite strange. Anyway, listen, people, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking with me. Listen, I'm going to finish off my, uh, my Soldier On Coffee. The Soldier On Coffee Company, based, based in Carrick Fergus, just on the edge of Belfast by Brian, Double Amputee. Good coffee. Awesome. Have a wonderful day, people. And thanks for sticking with my channel. Stay safe.